Hello everyone, it's me Game Dev Sivan Shankar and in this video I'm going to make a game inspired from Flappy Bird but this time it is going to be in 3D with lots of neon effects. And before starting the video I want to maintain that my game is already available on Play Store so if you want to download it just follow the link given in the description. And that being said, get some popcorn, have a seat and now let's enjoy the show. Firstly I'm going to make a model and for that I'm simply going to use Blender. And after putting an hour, I come up with this model and I think it's pretty good. And after that, I also added a rig and animation. And this is how it's look like after rig and animation. Now bird is done, a nice time to make some buildings and obstacle. Now everything is done in the side of modeling and now it's time to directly jump into the Unity. And I simply imported all the model into the Unity, added a material and I also created this position in the sky which I think going to look perfect for this game. And I think many of you know that in original game you can tap on a screen to jump the bird and when you stop tapping the bird will directly fall down. And yeah you guess right I'm simply going to use the same technique. So here you can see in the script I'm simply calling a bird rigid body in a wake method and adding a force and a velocity to a bird rigid body to make it jump and for fall down. And after that I simply added a script into the bird and now it's time to check does everything working perfect or not. And yeah, everything's working perfect. Now bird can jump and fall down. Now it's time to spawn pime with different different gaps for infinitely. And you all know spawning pimes and destroying it for infinite number of amount, it can create a lot of junk memory. So that's why I'm simply going to use object pulling. So object pulling is done and now it's time to spawn pime with different different gaps for infinite amount. So here you can see I am simply calling the pime from the object pulling, spawning it into a bottom with different position and spawning it into a up with different rotation. And by this I can able to spawn two pime at the same time. One is going to be at the up and one is going to be at the bottom. And for the gap I am simply going to take a minimum height and a max height of a pime and making a gap in between. Now by this I can able to spawn pime with different heights with different gaps for infinite amount. And yeah everything is working perfect. Pime are spawning with different gaps and with different heights. And the only thing which we are missing right now is to add some score text and a background. And for the background I am simply going to use the building I made in Blender. And I also going to spawn it for infinite amount. This is how it looks like after putting a building in a background. And I think it's fit perfect. And yeah the basic mechanism of the game is pretty much ready. The only thing which we are missing right now is to add some sound, UI element and some effects. And for the UI element, I simply made all the UI in the Photoshop. And here is the preview. And for the effect, I simply used Unity Particle System. Inside Unity Particle System, I come up with these two ideas by adding a cloud and a star. And in star, I simply used color over lifetime feature available in Unity Particle system to make it twinkle. And at the last, I simply integrated all the UI elements and a non copyright song which I downloaded from YouTube. Finally, the game is ready. It took me 7 days to make the game. And I also found lots of bugs, saw lots of bugs. Sometimes pumps are not spawning, sometimes pumps are not moving. But however, the game is totally finished. And I also want to maintain that the game is available on Play Store. So if you want to download it, just follow the link given in the description. And when the game will get 1000 downloads in Play Store, I will start my work on adding more levels, characters and environment. And now, it's the time to enjoy the gameplay.
and yeah that was pretty much it and if you like the content make sure to hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye